holiday. Which is why do we keep a two day holiday on these days when the reason for keeping two days is no longer relevant anymore. In other words, back then the whole Jewish calendar was determined by the court ruling the beginning of the month into existence. A ruling that was determined by witnesses spotting the new moon. And the court ruling based on their testimony. Now this ruling would not travel fast enough to reach Jews living outside of the land of Israel. So they ruled that everyone outside of its borders should always keep two days of a holiday just to be safe. With the exception of Rosh Hashanah which was even kept for two days within Israel. So why do we continue keeping a two-day holiday even though nowadays we have greater communication than before? In other words, we could get the word out fast enough. And better yet, why do we continue keeping a two-day holiday if we no longer have a Sanhedrin? In other words, we don't determine the new month by the moon anymore. We use a calculated calendar also established by the Sanhedrin until we actually put them back on the Temple Mount. And the answer is that because it was a ruling by the great court, that ruling could not be abolished by any other court but the Sanhedrin itself. Which, if you think about it, is the way virtually every legal system functions.